Today in Cloud Gaming News, we have two new stories to go over, one involving Stadia and an update on the Saints Row situation, but we're going to begin with one that affects all of cloud gaming as a whole. Earlier this month on June 10th, the UK's Competition and Markets Authority, or CMA for short, announced that it is planning to carry out a market investigation into mobile browsers and cloud gaming. To put this into simpler terms, it's mainly focused on Apple and their very restrictive practices when it comes to cloud gaming. As many of you know, there is no official app for any of the services out there, be it Google Stadia, Amazon Luna, GeForce Now, or Xbox Cloud Gaming, none of their apps exist on the iOS storefront, and the only way to do so is to use the Safari web browser to actually circumvent the iOS storefront and get a progressive web app version of these services. While this does grant you access to your respective cloud gaming choice, this does restrict quite a few things because using a progressive web app really nullifies the amount of power you can use from an iPhone. Thus, it leads to a lower quality of service than what could possibly be achieved by being an actual app. So why exactly does Apple do this? Well, their claim is that its policies around cloud gaming are justified on the grounds of security and privacy, as well as users' experience and expectations while using the device. Their issue right now is that the CMA isn't persuaded that these are compelling enough justifications for the restrictions to exist. They went on to label Apple's arguments as overstated and not necessary. And honestly speaking, I tend to agree. I don't think Apple's interest is in the user, but rather their own pocket. I think Apple sees it as a threat. If cloud gaming were to take off and people start using those services to play on their mobile devices rather than using apps on the storefront, Apple's certainly going to see a loss in money. Remember, if you're using GeForce Now and then buy something off the Fortnite store, they're not getting a cut of whatever Fortnite's making there. It's the very same reason why Epic and Apple are going at it in the court system. Apple simply wants their cut, and Epic doesn't believe they do enough to justify taking that amount. Cloud gaming would remove Apple's cut from any sort of microtransaction that happens within games being streamed via the cloud. And it may even remove users who are playing on apps currently in favor of the cloud gaming options. That's why Apple makes it as confusing as it is to actually use any sort of cloud gaming service on an iOS device because they don't want you to use them. It'll be very interesting to see how this all plays out because if it eventually leads to changes in the UK, there's a good chance it'll lead to changes throughout the rest of the world as well. But now let's switch topic and move on to Google Stadia and an update on the Saints Row situation. Yes, the everlasting Saints Row situation. So let's quickly catch up any users who are unaware of the situation. To be to begin with, Saints Row was found rated for Stadia. Second, Duncan from Cloud Gaming Extreme went on to ask on whether or not this was happening and he received word that there were no plans for Saints Row on Stadia. And right after that, Brian Chappelle from The Nerf Report went on to the Build a Boss application that was released to get ready for the game's launch and found that there was some code underlying the files, stating that yes indeed, a Stadia version at some point existed. So what's the latest? Well, it comes from a French influencer who claims to have received the press kit from the developers themselves. And on this card, it states that the game will be launching on the 23rd of August on the PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and S, PC via the Epic Game Store, and finally Google Stadia. I am really not sure what to make of this, because out of all the pieces of evidence we've seen so far, this is definitely the most solid. The title itself just received a new trailer not very long ago, and it didn't show any signs of coming to Stadia within that trailer. And while the Build a Boss character creator certainly had Stadia code, it wasn't ultimately released on Stadia either. This puts the Stadia community in a weird situation to say the least, because the game is about two months away at this point in time, and you would think that it being this close to release, we would have heard of confirmation by now, either from the publisher or Google themselves. After all, the game's been up for pre-order, it's currently Summer Games Fest, and the game has been showcased, and yet the Stadia version was nowhere listed or in sight or even mentioned. Heck, even if it was coming to the platform at a later date, it would have made sense to at least say so, no? But Google being Google, and we know that they do this a lot, they like to kind of announce things at their own pace at their own time. Why? I don't really know, I don't think it makes sense, but there is a chance that this game is on the way. My predictions are that it's probably not coming day and date, because I feel like they would have been taking pre-orders if that were the case. Instead, I expect to see it at some point later this year. But we also can't 
rule out the idea that maybe this game was planned to release on Stadia and eventually just got dropped. I really doubt that's the situation because I would be shocked for them to make a misprint that big on a media kit or press kit, whatever this is, but you never know, it could happen. Regardless, there is still hope that we'll see the brand new Saints Row on Stadia at some point in time, and that's enough to get a lot of people excited for sure. Hopefully it won't be too long before we hear any sort of official confirmation, but for now, that's the situation and we'll see where it goes. Let me know your thoughts though, do you believe we'll see Saints Row on Stadia this year? Why or why not? Leave me your best argument down below, I'd love to read your thoughts. Now if you enjoyed today's video or found it helpful at all, be sure to hit that like button as it really does help the channel out, and if you're wanting more content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well. As always, I hope you have a great day, thanks for watching the video, this has been The Virtual Cloud, giving you the latest and greatest on everything cloud gaming related, and until next time, I'll catch you in the clouds.